Hi, welcome to STEM Playground for homeschooling families. Join us each month for a new video featuring a STEM themed story and experiment. A select number of experiment supplies will be available at the Merchant Square location at the beginning of each month. A list of supplies and other information will be available in the description of this program. Visit the homeschool page on the library website for resources, information, book lists, and our monthly newsletter. Enjoy the program. Hi, welcome to November's STEM Playground for Homeschoolers. I'm Miss Kelly, and we're going to talk all about turkeys today. I'm going to read a book about a turkey to you. I'm going to discuss the kit that you can pick up at the library to make a friendship bracelet, and Miss Erin is going to talk about turkey geometry. Let's read a book. I'm a Turkey by Jim Arnosky and published by Scholastic Press. I'm a Turkey. I'm a Turkey. They call me Tom. I got a Turkey dad and a Turkey mom. I got a Turkey brother and sisters too. I'm part of a flock of 102 wild turkeys. Every one. When you live in a flock of that many birds, you've got to communicate, but not with words. We putt and peep and squawk and squabble. Talking turkey, gobble, gobble. A great big bird weighing 15 pounds takes some time getting off the ground. I flap my wings, aim toward heaven, and take off slowly, like a Boeing 747, 50 miles per hour over the treetops. You know being a turkey has its ups and downs where big and strong we strut around. But we must be careful, can't be hasty, because lots of critters find us tasty. That makes us wary, always on the lookout. What's that in the bushes over there? Anyways, but not to worry, we keep surviving and our numbers keep on multiplying. The very next turkey that you see might be for my flock. It might be me. Make a gobbling sound so I know it's you. I'll answer back with a gobble or two. We'll be talking turkey. Gobble, gobble. So this month at the library, you can pick up a kit to make a snake roll bracelet. And then once you make a bracelet, you can give it to a friend or a family member for Thanksgiving. Next up is Miss Erin. She is going to talk turkey geometry with you. Hi, Miss Erin here. Today we're going to do some hand turkey geometry. You'll need paper, a ruler, a pen, and this handy hand turkey geometry table. You can find it at thehomeschoolscientist.com. The first thing you'll do is trace your hand on a piece of paper. Then you'll use the ruler to measure the length and width of each of your fingers, your thumb and your palm. Once you're done, you'll write those numbers down in decimals, add them together and then multiply them to get the total area of your hand. For an extra challenge, you can convert the decimals to fractions and discover your answer in fractions. When you're done, be sure to cut out your hand and decorate your turkey so that you have a fun reminder of the geometry you did today. 